Hey there, it is Kimberly and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about my one month lock update and my retwist. Alright, so let's talk about how the first month went. It was a lot going on in the first month. I swear the first month, it felt like about three months. I don't know why it felt so long, but every week. I was like, oh my gosh, is, has it only been one week? Has it only been two weeks? It just felt so long. So the first week I was fine. I think I did a video on the first week um, update. Yeah, so the first week was fine. Second week, I started looking a little bit unkempt and a little bit self-conscious, but I was self-conscious the whole time. So anyway... Also, my scalp started to really itch after that second week. So I'm like, I got to shampoo my hair. I'm just going to shampoo it. I mean, it can't look no worse than it's already looking. So I'm going to go ahead and shampoo, right? So I shampoo and it doesn't look so bad. You know, it's just I still got the frizzy roots and everything. But I had those anyway. So no big deal. Well... When I woke up the next day and after those roots had air dried and puffed up, uh -uh. it was doing a lot. I was like, look, I there's no way I could go two more weeks looking like this. I have got to do something. So I ended up doing a light retwist. I got my son, and you know it wasn't done all that because I got my son to do it. So I got my son to just grab my locks and twist them and clip them so we didn't put any product on it i just sprayed my moisturizing spray that i have from crown elements uh, i just sprayed that on there and then i had him go ahead and twist twist it at the roots and um put the clips in there and then i sat under the dryer for about 15 20 minutes and um that that got me through because he was like, well, this is not a real retwist. It's not going to look good. I'm like, I'm not trying to get it to look like a, a retwist. I just need something to get me through these next two weeks. I need something to look a little bit better than I'm looking. So and he actually did a good job. I mean, considering because he was like, I don't know how to part. I'm like, we don't even need a comb. I don't need you to part. I just need you to grab where you see a lock. Twist it, clip it, that's it. So he did that, and then I felt a little bit better. I'm like, okay, I can get through the next two weeks like this. But then, of course, it still didn't look that great. But after a while, I was like, you know what? Uh, it, it's frizzy and it's doing a lot, but I'm cool with it. Mind you, I have not budded a bit I don't see a lock in sight. I'm still just a two-strand twist girl. So, which I guess is to be expected because I'm at like week three by now. So, as I am being so impatient, I start to not like the color of my hair. So, you, if you watched a previous video, you know that I colored my hair before I got my starter locks because I wanted to come from black and I was trying to get back to the honey blonde that I used to be. But it didn't quite uh, get to the color. It got like to a, a dark blonde, light brownish color, which was okay, but I still was not satisfied with that color. So on week three, I bleached my hair. Yep, I, I bleached my baby infant starter locks against everything that I know and was told I went in with bleach. And I was like, you know what? It, I, I was just not happy with that color and I wanted the color I wanted. So I'm like, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to do it. Worst case scenario, all my twists fall apart. And I got to start over. No big deal. I'm three weeks in. So long story short or long story long, I end up bleaching it. It comes out. Okay. Locks are the two strand twist gone. Just everything. <laughs> 
but the parts were not gone mm -hmm. I still had the parts in there so what I did was I went back in and I retwisted all of the stuff that had came unraveled I twisted it back up I put the clips in again set under the dryer if y'all keeping up this is my second retwist within my first month of locks it wasn't really a retwist though I didn't put any product on there and I didn't do it even remotely tight I was just trying to get them in some type of shape or order so um did that and then after a few days you know everything was back the way it was and now let me also say that i am a licensed cosmetologist so i did bleach my hair with the utmost care that i could do and um so far there's i don't see any damage i have worn my hair this color for years and years and years previously so I know exactly my formula and what to do the only hard thing was I was trying to get some black rinse out of my hair so the ends were still a little bit darker and um, yeah there's that so now that we have the color I want I can just keep up with my roots going forward so like maybe every few months or so I will retwist, um, not retwist, but retouch my roots. But I'm not going to do it for a while because I'm still in that starter lock phase. So, yeah. So, all right. Finally, it's four weeks and it's retwist day. I was waiting for this day for so long. Actually, only four weeks, but it felt like forever to me. So, retwist day is here. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm going to my lactician, which I found another lactician because if you watched my previous video on my one week retwist update, I was not going to go back to the person who did my starter locks. So, found a new lactician. I got a good feeling about this girl. So, I get there and everything's good. Um, she's going to have her assistant shampoo me. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. And I asked her, does she have shimmering lights? Because I want to put some shimmer lights on my blonde, you know, to get out some of the yellow. So she, um, before the shampoo, she gives me a little mini consultation because this is my first time. So she looks through my hair to see what she's working with. And she's, I was like, full disclosure, girl, I bleached this hair about a week ago. So, just so you know, she was like, oh, yeah, I can see it definitely changed the texture of um, your hair. Now, how you know it changed my texture? You ain't never seen my hair. But, okay. So, <laughs> how you know this ain't my regular texture? Um, so, anyway. She, you know, the back row, it was completely undone. It was hanging on. It was the back row all this was just loose hair and right down here on the tippy tip the two strand twist was still in there but the rest of this it was just loose hair and i was on the whole back row so she was like oh these are all loose so she did like a little interlocking to the back row just so they wouldn't come i don't know why she did that because they were already loose but she did a little interlocking to that back row, which I don't know how I felt about that because I didn't really want any interlocking, but I just went with it. And um, then she put rubber bands around my locks for the shampoo so that her assistant could shampoo it. Um, and she told her, you know, don't go in too hard on her because we don't want her what she has to come loose, which I understood. So... I have been having the worst luck with shampoos. And every time I go to a salon, which is almost never, I look forward to the shampoo because I'm always shampooing my own hair. I hardly ever get to get lay back in the bowl and get a shampoo because I have been doing my own hair for years. Even when I worked in the shop, I always shampooed my own hair. So I really look forward to it. But I I knew I wasn't going to be able to get a vigorous wash, but I wanted just a little bit of scratching, you know, just a little bit of scratching on that scalp. And when I tell you, I did not get it. She was like, I can't, I can't do too much. I can't go in too hard. And I'm like, yeah, I, I know. I understand. 
but it's a it's a long way between going in on a shampoo and barely touching a person's scalp or barely doing anything and I mean it was like barely anything to the point where the the entire shampoo from start to finish probably lasted three minutes I'm thinking three minutes and that was with her leaving on my shimmer lights for a minute because I said just do your normal thing whatever shampoos you guys use here do that and then at the end put the shimmering lights on you don't have to rub that in you can just apply it to the hair mush it through and let it stay for two or three minutes she um, did one shampoo which was very minuscule I literally felt like oh my gosh my hair is not clean I know it's not clean but then I was like well I know she can't really rub it too much because um they don't want my locks to come out so anyway um she puts the she does the one shampoo she puts the shimmering lights on she leaves it on for like 45 seconds then she rinses it out then she puts my conditioner on and that conditioner was the only thing i really felt on my scalp because it was like a tea tree conditioner so i felt a little tingly tingly and i'm like thank god for the tea tree because if it weren't for that i wouldn't even know anybody ever touched my head back there at the bowl so um and don't get me wrong she was a sweet girl you know she was the assistant and she said she wanted to do locks and i was just really proud of her because i love to see young stylists coming up and they know what they want to do and they're in the shop and they're learning and they're assisting. I, I love that. So anyways, she um she rinses me out and I go back to the chair. We're doing my hair. She's into it and she's doing the locks and everything. And then I was like, oh, what type of product do you use? And she was like, oh, I usually make sure I tell everybody before I start. I can't believe I didn't tell you. So she pulls out the jar and she's like, I use this. And it was lock-in. I don't know if y'all know lock-in. It's like the stuff I use on box braids. So, like when I'm doing box braids, a lot of times, if their hair need a little extra hole, I usually use Shining Jam. But if their hair need a little extra hole, I use the lock-in. And I know that stuff is, is too thick for me. I already know. So, I was like... Oh my goodness. So I'm like, ooh, I I don't think this I think this is gonna be too much. I just think it's not gonna I think it's gonna be too heavy for my hair. So she does everything and everything feels fine. I go into the dryer and um then I come out and I was I look at the style and I'm like, okay, it looked good, it was neat, everything was fine. But what I really wasn't feeling was my locks had gotten really thin. Like they they looked like they had been palm rolled to death. And they were just so much thinner than they were when I walked in. And then when I touched my hair, I could feel residue like on my fingers. And I didn't like that at all. And I'm like, okay, I like this girl and I like the way she did my hair. However... I can't use that product on my hair again. So I'm debating if I'm going to go back and just ask her to use a different product or, you know, bring my own product or what I'm going to, I don't know right now what I'm going to do. So, um, so after a couple days, it's been today at the time of this recording, it has been three days since I got my retwist. So now it's looking a little bit better as far as, um, being really thinned out and um you know i feel like it's getting plumper if that's a word so what i've been doing is i've been spraying my um moisturizing spray on the end so i'll just grab it because i'm trying to keep this retwist but um i'll grab the ends and then i just spray on the ends trying to you know plump the locks so I'm thinking if I wet them down they have no choice but to get a little bit plump 
So that's what I've been trying to do. Um, I've been doing that every day and it seems to be working. And now mind you, I only have 70 something locks. So for them to be this thin, I don't know. It just, I don't know. I just, I hope my locks get thicker. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they will. Oh, and speaking of thicker, look, I feel like I got some budding right here. What you think? Does this look like budding to you or is it just um, some hair sitting there? Girl, that look like budding to me. I think just on this one lock. What you think? <laughs> Anywho, so that was my first month. I think... Um, I'm off to a good start. I'm, I'm liking it. I, I love my hair. I just really like the fact that I have my locks. I just want them to hurry up and look like locks, but I know I got to be patient. And I got the color I want now, so I don't have to go back bleaching my hair again. I, so yeah, I just got to figure out what I want to use to retwist with, um, that will not give me a lot of buildup. And do that. I think I want to use a mousse, maybe. I've heard people say that they like that Shea Moisture uh, mousse, the one in the or with the orange label. And I'm thinking I definitely need something light. I've been looking at a lot of videos trying to see what the other lock girls are using. I know one thing, hardly anybody uses that lock-in. I, I was like, don't none of the uh, lock girls on YouTube use that. I have not seen that. I've seen maybe one or two videos with that, but I keep looking to try to see what everyone's using and everyone uses something different and I know I'm probably just going to have to try a couple things to figure out what works best for my hair, um, but at least I know what does not work on my hair and that's the lock-in. I just feel like that is just, I feel like it's going to leave a lot of buildup over time, so I just don't want to use it again and... Hopefully, when I shampoo, you know, it'll just all come out. So, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to watch the next video right here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.